Hi, I'm Jackie Valencia Lauper with Jackie's Buzz, and I'm here with the very lovely Lisa Wexler, and we are here in Westport, Connecticut, after a wonderful book signing, which was quite popular, right, Lisa? Very popular. It was a kickoff to a series here at the Westport Library, and we had a very nice crowd. It was really fun. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, by the way, for joining us. I know oh, you're pleasure. going through this really busy book tour. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the book opened in April, April. and we did a national TV tour. We were on the Today Show, Early Show, Morning Joe, a million different shows, and and now we're actually launching into being face to face all over the country. My mother and my sister and I have been invited all over the country and we'll be touring for Jewish Federation, uh, you know, philanthrop philanthropic organizations and various people that want to see us face to face. That's Very awesome. Exciting. And it's Secrets of a Jewish Mother, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love because I'm close with my mom and my sister and have the Jewish thing going on. And I was loving a little of the notes that were in there. Um, a Jewish mother is always right, right? Yes. <laughs> At least we think so. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And my family would totally agree. Uh, we know the answer to everything. Um, we tell people this is what you have to do. This I is what you have to do. I probably woke up to that every single morning, especially on the phone now that I'm an adult. It doesn't change. It does, and I'm always giving orders, and now I know why, yes. actually. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Culturally <laughs> bred. Culturally <laughs> bred. That's right. Now, Lisa, oh my goodness. I was looking through all the things about you, and I don't even know how you have time to breathe. I mean... It is amazing. Okay, Lisa is an award-winning radio talk show host, creator and executive producer of her own show, 4 to 6 p.m. on, on radio. Uh, you won the Gracie Award for Gloria Steinman's interview. Is that right? Uh, uh, Steinem. Steinem. Yep. And an attorney for 25 years. Yeah, you don't look old enough to Thank be an attorney. And I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I graduated right out of the womb. It's true. Actually, let me think about it. I graduated in yeah, 84. Yeah, possible looking at you. You know that? It's more than 25. If I graduated in 84, help me with the math, it's over 25. 25 years. Wow. That's a long time. Wow. And you won an, uh, won an award for excellence in um, constitutional law. Well, that was a very long time ago. <laughs> that was a really long time ago. We had to bring up all these many awards. Almost okay. when the Constitution was written, but not quite. Uh, <laughs> active on the Westport Planning and Zoning Commission. Yes. I mean, seriously, how do you find time to do your show, to travel? You, you have women in Connecticut as well, right? Women in Power in women Connecticut, in power which in I Connecticut. founded with three other fabulous women. Yeah, tell us about that. That's that an really extraordinary amazing. thing. Uh, Dr. Ellen Mahoney, who happens to be a plastic surgeon, decided she had the vision. I have to give her credit. It was her vision. And she gathered some women around her. Three of us really stood up to the plate to have these informational educational gatherings for women that are free. We now have about 175 women that come. Wow. It's unbelievable. They're in the Westport Women's Club. We pack. It's standing room only. Wow. We do three events a year. The last one was called The Book is Your Hook, which I thought because of my publication in April mm -hmm. that I could offer a lot to the audience in terms of telling them yeah. how to get a book published. Yes, that I was, think you know a little bit about that. Well, <laughs> you know what the truth is? I, mine was a happenstance. Really? My sister is a celebrity. Yes. We walked into meetings with publishers. It wasn't the kind of arduous road that most young writers or even older writers have to endure. Uh, but nevertheless, because of the context I had made, we were able to assemble a panel of first-rate editor, literary agent, uh, MJ Rose, who's a best-selling author herself. And these are informational educational sessions for women. The next one is November uh, 4th. November 4th. And it's 4th. called Brand Me. And it will be at the Westport Women's Center. And we're going to do exercises with women, mostly entrepreneurial women that are thinking about their own small businesses in order to I figure to out <laughs> how to develop a brand. You ought to go. I'm going to be going. November I'm going to be on the panel and in the audience really? for that one. No, okay. because I need to learn a lot. Yeah. The whole branding elevator pitch thing has still eluded me. It's Yeah, it still eludes me a little bit, too. I, I'm just getting you know the whole the whole vibe about it. Now, um, how do women join, or how do they become involved? They don't join. They just show up. They so just show up. Yeah, okay. You just have to email me at Lisa, Lisa Wex. I'll put you on the Excellent. invitation list. It's first come, first serve. Wow, that's amazing. I love what you do for women and Jewish. I think I think it's just wonderful what you do, empowering women. I think I'm it really passionate is. about it. Yeah, I am. I'm very passionate about I, women I feel speaking up their voices. That's I do. Awesome. And I have to ask you now. You work with your mom and you work with um, your sister, who yes. is a celebrity, Jill Zarin. Yes. And how is that? Do you guys like working together? Yes. Do you have uh, obviously there must be some funny stories, but do mostly you get along working together. And well, you know, when it came for the book, which right. was the working together component, we had decided early on that someone needed to be the captain. In. And quite frankly, it was my vision. Yes. The book was, was my, uh, it wasn't my idea to write a book. Jill wanted to write a book. Okay. But when Jill said, let's write a book, 
I said, no offense, Julie, I love you to pieces, but I'm not writing your autobiography. That's your job. I'm not going to write that. This book came to me in the shower, the idea of imparting my mother's wisdom in all different areas of life. This is really a love letter to mommy. So that's awesome. So we loved doing it together. We did it by means of email, a lot of communication, thank God for modern technology. We didn't have one fight about the content of the book. Yay. Everybody had veto power, oh, and we really loved it. That's amazing. Thank it. you so much, Lisa, for speaking with pleasure, us. It's Jackie. a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much.